What's up? What's up? We are here. What yeah. show are we doing? The Renny and D Mac show. Renny and D Mac show. Our What's little going on? world of entertainment. How you been, David? How's uh, your week? Uh, week was this week was kind of crazy. I'm kind of preparing. It's been a, it's been a crazy week. I, no, it was some major stuff happened, but I, I got through it. You get through I, it? I, as long as I get there, it's got to be there to solve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And People you know, just like, you know, I just like, wait and see. Please let it, wait and see. And they're like, they want instant answers. Instant gratification, they, they folks. That. That's the new world. And then once I get there, they're like, oh, okay. And yeah. I'm like, not that big of a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of, I, I, there's almost, in, the one thing about construction is almost every single thing can be resolved yeah everything can be fixed i tell them you break it we'll, we'll fix it yeah you matter. break you buy right? yeah you yeah. break you buy it, man if something goes on it's only going to cost the customer you know a little bit of extra more money and i mean we want to get the job done right, right stuff happens yeah stuff happens so we're going to go over our current events current events and let's see what we got um, news casters did you hear about Britney Spears? Oh, what's up with oh, something about that? You know, uh, you know, what she was always been under lockdown with yeah, her parents, or yeah. what was going on with that? Well, I remember she went like crazy ten years ago, where she shaved her head and was just going all nuts. And well, considering what's crazy now, that's yeah. not even crazy. It's anymore. acceptable now. Yeah, yeah, now it's acceptable. Now <laughs> she, now she is, now she's not the weird one, right? Yeah. Now she's the, she's the just the normal uh, one. Apparently, her dad's been holding her down like that just give her, gives her her allowance and stuff but she's like I want full control of my life again I want my money is that called like conservatorship or something sounds like that, like that. yeah uh, yeah so what, what so did they do they like took all her, like kind of her power away from yeah, her yeah like, like oh. she has to do certain things be certain places have meetings and oh yeah well she did have they a crazy right. mental breakdown she's basically right? like a business man so uh, you know she has that stay at Planet Hollywood oh it's kind of like that uh, power of attorney yeah yeah something like that. Uh, and but she's she stopped doing her show in Las Vegas. She's she's not gonna do it until she gets off of this. Or she says she just doesn't want her dad doing it anymore. And her dad's always been her manager and all that. So she oh, wants great. she wants to live her own life and pick her own manager in her home. She doesn't care about being under that anymore. It's just her dad. Something oh, like that. That's what I read. Something I about the dad. I read rumors. Who knows? Who knows? Nah, I'm not an expert. Yeah, who knows? You, you gotta ask TMZ for that stuff. Dude, I thought you. I, were, I thought you and the boy at uh, you and uh, you and TMZ or Harvey. What's his name? Harvey, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, I thought that you guys, guys were, were. I thought he was on your. Te- uh, you know, on your rolling on your. Uh, yeah. He's not on your in your Rolodex. No nah, man. In your favorites. No. Yeah, dude, you know all about all that stuff. I, every time I call you at like eleven o'clock, you're either on TMZ, The, <laughs> the View. The like view. they come in here, you're not even working. You're watching the View. You're just, <laughs> Don't even watch TV. I know. Do, yeah, the only do, thing I'm watching TV is maybe sports. Yeah, most yeah. people watch. Uh, our, you know, TV ratings are down anyway, and most, a lot of people are doing their own stuff on streaming and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. What they else did, happened? Bill Cosby. They let oh, him out. They no. let the Jello man out. The Jello man. The pudding pops. The, co- the Cosby pop, show. Pop, pop, Remember pop. the Cosby they show? They show him getting out and they're hoping. Uh, he, he looks like he's going to die soon. I bet oh, they just let him out because he's, he's about to die. Well, I heard they, they were holding him. He's like just limping out. I heard it was on a, on a technicality. Yeah, what was it say? Yeah, and then um, it would, you know, all that. Remember, all that also went down um, with the... Uh, went down when the Me Too movement was really yeah, hard, right? Yeah, yeah. So he probably got caught up in it. Um, but there's even, uh, I heard that there's even jokes if you go back with him about him. Um, you know, he's joking about putting, you know, putting women down in, um, I, I, guess, I guess his, I guess his scheme was that he would, uh, um, get him, get him um, you know, roofies or I don't know if they call that or whatever yeah, they no. did. But he used to joke that's about weird, that. Weird ass shit. Yeah, but you know, there's like that's weird shit. That's weird, dude. There's like I've heard of that a few times. There was an athlete that um, you know they roofie someone and then um, you know get him so hammered, then they'd have sex with them. I'm like, that's that's that doesn't seem fun. like fun. Yeah, yeah like, you know, that's not fun. Yeah, that's. That's the point of that. We, we used to have, is that movie? What's the we used to have a word for that called a dead. Oh uh, yeah, that's a not, dead F, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody wants one of those. So I mean, yeah. uh, who gets off on like? But Somewhere there are right. people who like to who Can like to have sex with uh, with actual Man- dead people and mannequins. Yeah, and mannequins. I guess Bill Cosby. Hey, one of those guys. You know, especially when you start getting up there, making all that money, you get all weird, and you know, they, they really start. Um, there's this conversation is getting weird. 
<laughs> okay, let's move on. Well, you we brought up Bill Cosby, bro. You know, so it, and that was a guy who used to be uh, everybody looked up upon, right? The Bill Cosby Show, man. Yeah, straight kids. It was just like kids watching kids shows. Kids shows, but hey, yeah. man, you don't know how freaky deaky somebody gets yeah. uh, in the in the bedroom and in their thoughts or whatever. Yeah. But kind of weird to me. Uh, bye bye, kill Bill Cosby. <laughs> We're leaving that topic. All right, next is NBA. You been to watching? I haven't been watching. You know me. I've been I've been uh, most sports, but especially the NBA. They're too woke for me. Uh, just been a lot of injuries. Like all the major players are hurt. They're like the number one players. Kind of sucks. Like I was really. Watching Trey Young play so much, and then he got hurt because of the ref. He stepped on the ref's foot. Yeah. He came down, and the ref, instead of moving his foot, landed on top, rolled his ankle. Well, LeBron is saying Super. that, you know, uh, that uh, they shouldn't have brought them back so soon. Yeah, and then was. Shaquille O'Neal was all over. Uh, and uh, Shaquille O'Neal, and I forgot what that other big loudmouth dude on ESPN. Um, um, they were bo- both getting on LeBron because they're like, bro, you make $200 million a year. You work four hours a day, and you're complaining about, like, injuries and all kinds of stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, he works four hours a day, but he also works ten hours doing film and running around making money on the side. Oh yeah, yeah. You're supposed to stay home, LeBron. After the workouts, you wouldn't be hurt. You go home and stay in an oxygen tank. Yeah. So you know, LeBron, he's uh, dude. LeBron James. He's got game. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, he man, plays for the Lakers. But damn. Yeah, man. but the dude is like drama, bro. He, he came drama here. cream. He came here and it got like slow or. Slow. Mess things up here, man. Yeah, man. And so, hey, uh, Chris Paul. No, oh, Chris Paul. Finally uh, making it to the finals for the first time in 16 years. 16 years. That's not one of my favorite guys. Another damn crybaby, but yeah, I'm man, old. He gets game, bro. I'm old school, man. You know, the old school dudes used to bang and hit each other and all that stuff. But um, you know, congratulations to Chris Paul at yeah. least uh, when you put 16 years in. And it seems like he's been a lot quieter this year and less complaining and more uh, more working. He almost yeah. didn't make it. I think he got he was out for a little while yeah, because of COVID, COVID, right? Yeah, he had tested positive for COVID. So at least their team, when he was out, got him, got, got him. He got, got some rest so he didn't get an injury. Yeah. No, now if he gets hurt, they're going to um, uh, they're gonna start complaining that, oh, well, since he got, you know, he was out a couple days because of COVID and all this stuff, but you know how it is. And then um, some Olympics. The Olympics are coming this uh, summer, yeah. and uh, track star Richardson tested positive for THC. Smoking that weed. Yeah, and after run, winning the 100 by a lot, yeah. blowing all the other girls away, yeah, well, and yeah. they, now she can't run in the Olympics. They made allow her to run in the 4x100 that's, relay. Yeah. That's it, but not the 100. So so I, I didn't know that uh, weed was a, a enhancing, uh, you know, a sports enhancing drug. I thought it would be a donut eating drug, but <laughs> jeez, yeah. It, I mean, you know, what? You weed's know. like a beer. Like, yeah. Geez, it's the same I thing. mean, you know, it's gummy bear. And it's legal in Oregon. She ran that rest race in Oregon. So yeah. It's legal in Oregon. I mean, yeah. literally, you could accidentally eat a gummy bear or a chocolate that you don't even know of. I, you could accidentally eat one. <laughs> you know, you yeah. know the. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I accidentally I accidentally ate fourteen gummy bears, and um, you know, but federally it's still it's still yeah, yeah, yeah it's still a the feds uh, a, still a still a, a, a hardened crime. And then we have the one uh, uh, I don't even know her name where uh, she was third in the hammer throw, and then she up uh, when they they played the national anthem she turned her back on the national anthem damn yeah so she's trying to represent usa but claiming that you know that doesn't represent um the national uh, doesn't represent her her people but she did uh, that her people wait what country is she from i uh, i don't know man she's from the united states of america and I that's thought, where i'm from i thought that if you're latino black white matter. asian whatever you're still matter. american especially yeah. when you're you're going for our you know doing it for our our country so but it's all fake news she's in a she's in a, um, a whole bunch of other pictures with the american flag and all that but you know now that you know after she's Ka- probably getting paid huh uh, after some... calling kaepernick yeah. so you know he couldn't he couldn't get a job he couldn't he couldn't play um, well anymore. He's getting paid by Nike, like you know, twenty million dollar. I don't know what some amount because now it's all this woke and social justice bull crap that's going on. I mean, hey man, our country, any country needs some change. Everybody, even I need change. You need change. Yeah. We can all get better. But um, do any other countries up- have problems with their athletes? <laughs> Yeah, but like in Iran, they just kill them, right? They just kill them. They just kill them. Yeah. Just like, just kill oh, them. oh, you want you don't like Iranian flag? Yeah. Fuck. You want to? So I mean, that's the great thing about our country is that you know we have a First Amendment right to be able to uh, speak out. I I'm guess just like so. you shouldn't. To me, 
my opinion, I don't think you should be speaking out. Um, if you're representing the company, you could do whatever you want on the side, but you know, in front of everybody. She said she got set up, but I don't know how you get set up for something like that. And she came in third. Third. And the other girl broke a record. And she's all smiling and all that, so um, that's what happened hey, with that. Hey, how about the Angels pitcher that's leading the, uh, the all of majors in home runs? 28 yeah. home runs. And a pitcher. pitcher. Yeah. Is he? I think you were telling me he wanted to go to the All Star. He was going to go to the All Star. Atani, right? Yeah, he's going to the All Stars as a DH hitter. Yeah. But now they're saying they want him. The people want to see him pitch. Pitching all. So time. like, hey, put your votes in. You want to see him pitch? Put the votes in. Because it's voted by the people. And they should. They should. Um. They should have him back first. And he can play the outfit too. What's that? Yeah. You know, I've seen him in the outfield a couple times. I'm like, dude, is he playing left field right now? It'd be cool to have him. Um. Like. You know, he probably won't start, and this is like, you know, usually the starter is like one of the best pitchers, but it'd be cool, like, the inning that he pitches, that he can come up to bat right um, right, a right after that. I mean, that'd be so it's awesome. Not in a home run. Yeah. He's going to be yeah. in a home run derby, yeah. so it's going to be pretty exciting. And then the All-Star game, I probably won't watch that because they moved that from Atlanta yeah, yeah. Um, to Colorado because of... Uh, <laughs> The uh, voting in uh, in Georgia, they were changing the voting stuff, which is yeah, they're talking Senate. about minorities. There's more minorities in Atlanta area, so they actually got rid of it and moved it into a, a less minority area of Colorado. Nothing against Colorado, but you know, it's just all the stupidities. Everyone just jumps on the bandwagon of you know of uh, the social justice and yeah. you know and virtue signaling. And then um, that's it for sports. But but did you hear that? Truck blowing up in LA, South Central. No, not the truck. It was like a it was a house, so they couldn't. I think it, no, they put was, all the, was they, it a truck or a house? Was that Brandon? It was a truck. Oh, <laughs> truck. My bad. And so yeah. uh, what? They couldn't transport it or something. Yeah, like that? it was too volatile. Like a big old explosion. Yeah, they set yeah. it off right in the middle of the street. Oh, I thought it was in a house. They found mm -hmm. it in a house, and no, no, they found the stuff in the house, and they loaded it onto the truck. And it was too volatile. They're like, we can't transport this. It's gonna blow up on the freeway or oh, blow up somewhere. Yeah. So. They put it in the middle of the street and said, boom, and they evacuated the whole area. Yeah. And I bet you that area needs new windows. <laughs> oh, hey, we got to go into that area and go, okay, folks, if you guys are watching this and you're from that area, the, we city own, the city owes you windows. Yeah, so if you do need some new windows, go ahead and call Family Home Improvements. We can provide those. We've got about a three to four week backup, but we do have a couple companies that can get them to you within three to four days. Um, but that'll be good on there. And then, uh, oh, and the funny thing about that is their 4th of July, um, 4th of July fireworks, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah, but we get them from China. Yeah. And then 4th of July is this weekend. Oh, yeah. And you know what? The Biden administration is doing an amazing job with our economy and our inflation and our uh, gas prices because they put out a tweet that this year you're going to save 16 cents on your barbecue. Really? It's 16 six. cents. Wow. We can probably put that... The average in barbecue bag. is about 150 bucks. No, um, not barbecue like your food. Like so what? basically, like they're saying, like your hot dogs, your potato chips and all that stuff is actually six would be 16 cents less this year than it would have been last year. But your gas prices are up to $5 and your inflation and your uh, all, most of your products are up, your Ubers are up. All that stuff's up, but hey, they saved 16 you 16 cents, 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 you know? 16 oh. cents, really? Yeah, that's a lot. So I could, probably, I could probably take that and go on a real nice vacation. Well, and then we got the building in Miami. That, that one's that's sad. That's really sad, That man. one's sad. Did you see that? That was really, really, really sad. I watched sad. the video. It was really eerie, like seeing the lights flicker and yeah. you, could, you could just... Oh. Know that someone's in that in that condo yeah. at that moment. It's also bunk beds, man. Yeah, that was, that was man. Like, that was like you know, kids. Twenty one survivor. Yeah. Wow. And you know, there's a syndrome called like survival survivor syndrome, and a lot of those people don't. You know, they you think they'd survive and be grateful that they survive, and a lot of times they're like, why did I survive? And yeah. So they have a lot of guilt, um, a guilt um, with that. So yeah, that's real sad, especially. In, I'm a Cubano. But, but so. they, they were having meetings for three years, right? Yeah. You were yeah. About? Well, they were having. And then, yeah. like, like, three, four days ago, the pool guy was there and he said, hey, there's some problems here. You got leakage yeah. problems. You know, I, it's kind of like, um, you know, you, now that they start really, you know, putting a microscope underneath that, but, you know, there's a lot of buildings that have those cracks Man, and, and the boards. Um, you know, if you're like in big O H O A, you know, everybody's got to get together. And it takes um, forever to fix something uh, or do something. Or they've got to vote for, hey, you know what, this is going to be, you know, this, everybody. Everybody's got to put put out ten thousand dollars, and so you know that's a hard vote to get 
you know, 4,000 people there to go, hey, we got to each put out $10,000 on the residence. So yeah. sometimes they um, take forever to get the money or they're trying to allocate the money. So, you know, they've been, you know, the engineer went out and said, hey, there's some structural cracking. But I'm sure if you went out to all the engineers and all these architects that go out and do these buildings, you know, I'm sure that it is a long list of buildings that they've had, you know, cracks and this and that that are going on that haven't fell. So um, it's just really an unfortunate incident. But if you think about it throughout the whole United States, you know, you were, I mean, you never have something like that happen. You had a bridge. Oh, man, there's a bridge that fell in Florida, too. What's going on with the engineering in, in Florida? Florida man. Oh, yeah, I watch it. No taxes, but maybe you should start charging some taxes so we can get some in correct inspectors out there. But we love Florida. So. I've never been. Oh, well, we're going to get our new credit card for our office. We're going to get our miles, and we're going to be going to Miami. Hey, to Miami, hey, to Miami, to South gonna, Beach. You want to go to South Beach? We're going to go to South Beach. South Beach? There we go, South Beach. And, you know, South Beach does not start until about 11, 12 o'clock. Really? Yeah, so usually you go out and have some dinner at about, uh, you know, 8 to around 10 or whatever, and then you start going out uh, at about, uh, you know, 12 o'clock. Yeah, so the lines on, you know, very typical that you go out over there and, and lines are like starting up at like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. If you can get in, they pick everybody out. All the good looking people. I right. leave the ugly people out, out on the, <laughs> they leave the ugly people out on the streets. All righty. All right. What else? Any other thing you want to talk about? Hey, you going on vacation? Tell I'm me going about on that. vacation. So, folks, if um, um, Wait, if you see this video, you can go to this house and rob it. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. I got cameras. Live cameras. <laughs> you yeah. got your dog there. <laughs> taking a little trip up to the north east. I'm taking my. Uh, my daughter Marley and Addison, it's for my daughter Marley's uh, 16th birthday. I wanted to take her to go see a concert in uh, France, Lollapalooza, um, but that all closed up. Man, so Lollapalooza, yeah. that would have been awesome. So we're going to go, oh man, it would have been great. But So we're going to go up to uh, uh, to Niagara Falls, nice. Buffalo, Never go to Rob, drive to Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, oh, go to really? Chicago, yeah, oh, do, do you some driving. Ohio? Yeah, yeah, getting our little Toyota Corolla that I rented, and... <laughs> I didn't remember when you told me to get like a nice big Cadillac. Yeah, I told you to get a, get like a. Yeah, sweater. those are like now two hundred and fifty a day. So yeah, yeah. Uh, rental cars are on the. Are, did you make sure you at least have Bluetooth? Uh, yeah. So you well, can play your music. Yeah. Um, well, I'm hoping every new car has Bluetooth. Not every new car has. Oh no. Apparently, oh, so I might have to do the one with the cassette deck. Yeah, whatever. plug it in. Plug it in. Um, uh, we'll figure it out. I'll take put, put a cup and just put your phone in the cup. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make sure and take my speaker. Oh, there you go. Yeah, take our little speaker from there. But you know what? The tech, new technology, most cars at least have Bluetooth. I'm hoping. I don't know. I haven't been What are you, you going to do in Chicago? Uh, Chicago, I'm going to duck from all the bullet shots. No, just kidding. I have my, my, uh, my best friend, Randy. Um, his, uh, his brother uh, lives there. So um, I'm going to go visit them, and then we're just going to go, you know, around, you know, the girls yeah. want to see Chicago. Oh, there's some good museums there. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna get on the hop-on and hop-off bus or whatever. Um, so we're going to do some of that, and then um, what towers the conference. Are, is it the Willis the conference Tower? conference and some other stuff that we're doing there, so yeah. It used to be the Sears Tower. What is it called now? The Willis Tower? Maybe. So, uh, you can go to the top of that. Yeah, well, one of the, one of the, uh, the tours that I got going on there, and then oh, yeah, you're the tour guy. Yeah, 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 I like tours. I like tours. Kind of give you a little outlet, and then I'm going over into uh, flying over to San Francisco. San going, Francisco. Yeah, and then I'm gonna take a drive down the coast. So something for my daughter for you know sweet sixteen. I couldn't provide really a big a party for her, and you know uh, Latinos with the quinceañeras yeah. and yeah. sweet sixteen. Yeah, so you throw it out. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you love your trip, Marley. But I'm excited. Addison's right. excited, and so I'll let you guys know. I uh, won't be here next week, so we'll see who the fill-in guest is going to be next Who's week. Who's going to be the special guest next week? We'll see. Maybe we'll get an Android or something like that, but thank you guys. I'll bring in Andrew. Yeah. He well, likes to talk. Yeah. Andrew. We'll figure someone. We'll figure to somebody out. Bikes and paintballs. B bikes and balls that are painted? Yeah, paintballs. Oh, paintballs. Paintballs. <laughs> paintballs. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> All right, that's the end of our show. We'll see you. If you guys have any, hey, see you later, Glenn. Yeah, if you guys have any uh, requests for um, you know topics or something like that, send them on in. But yeah. love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. See you Bye -bye. later. Bye. Clip.